Chaining has always been an instrumental part of Yu-Gi-Oh, but when the game entered the digital age with Duel Links and Master Duel, toggling became maybe the most important difference from the paper version. So today we'll go over chaining and toggle settings in Master Duel, and how they impact your gameplay. To access the menu, there are two ways. One in the overworld and the other in game. To access the menu in the overworld, go to the top right and click on the submenu. This will open the how to play slash settings menu and then we'll click on game settings. There we can click on dual to open, well, dual settings. In game it is slightly easier by just going to the cogwheel in the top left corner and click on dual to open the dual settings right away. In this video, we will only address the top four settings, but if you'd want to know about the others in this menu too, let me know in the comments. Moving on, we start with the top item being self-chain. When set to auto, you are only allowed to activate cards based on your opponent's actions, meaning that when an opponent performs any action, example, draws a card, plays a card, goes to the next phase, picks their nose, you can respond with a card of yours, if you have a suitable card. There are some other settings that we'll discuss later that allows for fixed moments, or all possible moments to respond. When we set this to on, we can also chain to our own actions. So we can ash our own card for an ultimate BM if we'd like. But more importantly, we are much more flexible in activating our cards as shown in the example here. To protect certain effects we would like to end our chain by activating Parallel Exceed. So to trigger Parallel Exceed we first link summon. And then we're getting a prompt. We also want to activate Salamangriot Circle, so as Chain Link 2 we'll activate Circle. However, since self-chain is not on, we are not receiving a prompt to chain parallel exceed. And to prove you can actually do this when the self-chain is on, we can see here that we can activate parallel exceed after circle. This will automatically bring us to our second point, which is the bottom setting of the four, activation order settings. This can be off or on. When off, we cannot activate cards in the chain as we'd like when multiple effects trigger. For example, this is especially apparent when summoning access code talker with update jammer. We would like to activate Update Jammer first, and then Access Code, as when Access Code's effect activates our opponent cannot respond anymore, thus closing the chain, so to say. Our opponent can therefore not call by our Update Jammer after Access Code's effect for example. However, Update Jammer when set to Auto will always activate last. Changing the setting to on will allow us to select the ordering manually, again increasing our resilience to our opponent's responses. Next we'll discuss Card Position. This can be set to Manual, or Auto. When set to manual, we can individually set any card on any position that we want, giving us all the flexibility that we need. Auto will put it in a position it wants, often favoring the middle position before fanning outward. This will be disadvantageous as certain effects require a certain position to activate as Salamangria Jack Jaguar for example, which we cannot activate now as the system has put our heat soul to the left of update jammer, while we preferably wanted it in the extra monster zone. Then lastly, the so-called toggle settings. Its settings can be found in the Activation Confirmation tab and have different options and for this video we'll focus on PC settings only. For phone users it works similarly but not quite the same. We'll start with Auto, meaning that the system allows you for some set moments to respond to your opponent's plays. Next is Hold 1. Where holding the left mouse button will set the toggle to on whilst releasing puts it back to Auto. Then we have Hold 2, where holding the left mouse button will set the toggle to off whilst defaulting to Auto. This means we have no way of putting the toggle to on. Last of the numbered hold section, we have hold 3, where holding the left mouse button will set the toggle to on whilst defaulting to off. This means that the toggle cannot be set to auto, which should be fine as on is just an improved auto. Then we have switch, which is very similar to dual link settings. The toggle is now changed to a real button allowing for toggling and when clicking you will go from auto to on to off, always in that order. And lastly, the most flexible option, the switch and hold where holding the left mouse button will set the toggle to on, and holding the right mouse button puts it on whilst defaulting to its current toggle. Now you might ask, CG why is toggling that important? Well, especially on and of have their benefits. Let's start with the easier to understand one, off, when you put the toggle to if you cannot respond to any activated effect at all. No prompt will show up. This is convenient when you do not want to show any possible responses in hand. Do you know the opponent's deck well enough to know when a choke point arrives, keep the toggle to off, to keep your opponent in the dark of any possible responses, to bait out that choke point and right before its activation set the toggle to auto or on and send them walking. Setting the toggle to on has its benefits over auto as now you are allowed to respond to any action that happens on the field. Your opponent draws a card, we can respond. You activate a card, well we can respond. This is especially important for certain effects that you want to activate in certain phases, such as the opponent's draw phase. 
When the toggle is set to auto, the first response you will possibly have is in the opponent's main phase when he either plays or summons a card, skipping the standby and draw phase, and can put you down severely. And there you have it. If you've enjoyed the video, give the algorithm a nudge and consider liking, subscribing or just commenting. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video and if you need anything else to watch, let the YouTube algorithm introduce you to some videos that are put on your screen about now. Happy viewing!